Good afternoon, everyone. August 1st to August 15th, average max temperatures down in the U.S. And melting on Greenland already seems to have turned a corner and melt season has ended a month early. Arctic sea ice, you've been told it's melting to oblivion. Uh, actually, it's at the minimum fifth least amount of melting in the last 13 years. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to ADAPT2030 and press that bell to stay subscribed to get the latest updates. And this video is brought to you by foodforliberty.com forward slash ADAPT2030 heirloom vegetable seed kits, enough for you to grow 10 acres, harvest those seeds and replant for the next year. Click the link below to see what else they offer. Let's go up to the Arctic. Those dots you see are the average end to the melt season. 2017, the outlier. Early stop to the melting. Also, when we took a look at the overall Arctic sea ice year upon year, we are on the orange line. And they keep telling you it's the least amount of sea ice ever. How are you getting these conflicting messages when there's so much information coming out showing you if we do bar charts here and we start to stack it on top, this is the fifth least amount of ice there is since 2003. It's not the lowest. That means there were at least four years with less ice than today. And 2011 is so close to riding the line, that could be a rounding error in itself. But the news continually feeds you that it's below normal ice, it's almost no ice, it's the least year ice, but it's not. Also, taking a look at the end of the Greenland melt season, that green box, it's already turned. So here we have an early end to the melt season in the Arctic, and we have an early end to the melt season in Greenland, and it's already getting colder, incredibly wet across the Scandinavian countries, and these are just repeating cycles in history. Over to Stephen Goddard's site. Nice graphic here, August 1st to August 15th, average maximum temperatures covering 1895 to 2017. If it was indeed getting warmer across the United States, that should be going up, not down. And I also want you to notice the 1936 date when the Dust Bowl was occurring compared to even the warmest temperatures that we've had since 1990. This is where the whole data manipulation comes in where they try to cool the past to make it look like it was a linear trend warmer. But these are the land-based temperature stations throughout the last 120 years. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Please consider supporting me on PayPal or Patreon if you have the means. If you don't, please pass this through your social media. That'll help me incredibly as well. But these are all the social media feeds that I'm on currently as well. And do remember, I have a weekly podcast, Mini Ice Age Conversations, available on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, and SoundCloud. I try to do a longer 30 to 45 minute interview every single week with somebody who has more information about the Grand Solar Minimum or can give you real on the ground analysis of what's happening with food prices and weather conditions.